Hello everybody and welcome to another Game of Thrones episode. Your poor baby boy. He's gonna be manipulated. Well, better by Marjorie than Cersei. Uh oh. Oh boy. Your grace? Cat fight. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. Yeah, I don't think my mom thinks that way. Speak to your father. I'll speak to mine. This is weird. We may be faced with an alarming number of weddings soon. <laughs> I won't even know what to call you. Sister. Or mother. <laughs> King Joffrey Baratheon is dead. Joffrey, Jorah. Because Jorah is the bestie. Oh no. Uncle Peter! The crazy bitch. My lord! Oh, the gift! <laughs> top of everything else. So she's not crazy anymore? Mom, arranging for this. The way I've trusted you. But he wants Sansa. Holy fuck. That bitch is crazy. To scream when my husband makes love to me. I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across the narrow sea. She is screaming alright. I mean, it's a freaking castle! How can you still hear her yell? Last working mine ran dry three years ago. And how do we pay for anything? The Crown owes the Iron Bank of Brothers a tremendous amount of money. The names of every fucking person in Mr. Ross. <laughs> Only the ones. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. Yes, I'm, I'm very lucky. No, you're not I'm lucky. lucky. He wants so I know you. He I'm so great. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? Well, I'm I'm half Tully. He loved your family so loved much. Loved your mother. No, that's what you wanted to say. He loves you, Aunt Nancy. He's married not to you. Mother. Never loved him. Never. Cat always went straight for the sweetest thing. The most obvious thing is Uncle Brandon. The handsome, arrogant, cruel Uncle Brandon. He almost killed Peter in a duel. Your mother loved him anyway. This is crazy! Now, Peter is a little girl with stupid dreams who never learns. And I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth. I swear to you that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. What a crazy woman! All right. You'll be a widow soon. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Robin. You'll be the lady of the fair. Robin the cousin? The, the crazy little cousin? No! She's so cute. This hair is greasier than Joffrey's cunt. It was not. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's like all the rest of your friends. <coughs> Oh my god. Your friend's dead. And Meron Tron's not. There's Tron Tadama. And a big fucking soul. Yeah, try to kill me one more time, lady. Oh no. Oh, no. no. Oh no. I didn't want to see that. Oh 
That's a pretty good yeah, sister. I hope yeah, that they're yeah, not like freaking Cersei mm -hmm. and Jamie. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna burn him? Is that how he dies? Please don't burn my baby. You said what was left. Oh no, what? What is he gonna do to Mira? Get her up. Stop. Stop, what are you doing? Hold on. Hold on. Get up. Stop. God, you asshole.
ghost is going for you, so you better start running. Run, little man. Oh, too late. What an episode. What an episode. I'm so sad that John didn't get to see Bran, but at least Bran saw John far away and knows he's okay. And Ghost is back with John. That's just great. That's perfect. So this season so far, it's really, really good. Beginning of the season, we get to see Joffrey die. We get to see Bran and company getting closer and closer to their goal. We get to see John and Ghost together again. It's just, it's going real good. And that makes me worry. Because when things are going okay, means that something is gonna go very, very wrong. <sighs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social medias if you want. As always, I'm Sara Millano and I'll see you in my next video.